friends, a very good morning to you, Cockney Kayaker here. Good to have your company as always. Just on my way to Burton Waters. Absolutely freezing, it's minus three as we speak, and it's been pretty much like that for a week here in Lincolnshire. I did pop over earlier on in the week just to make sure everything's okay with the boat. Um, so I've got a couple of hours to kill um, this morning, so um, off I go again. So all being well, um, I'm gonna. I'm on my own today, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna go too far. Uh, it's quite misty. It's bitterly cold. Um, so I'm gonna have a little bimble out if I can. If it's not frozen, of course the Osprey navigation could even be frozen. I don't know. It's been that cold. So here we are. That's um, the lovely Burton Waters pontoons are incredibly slippery. I'm not even sure this is doable. I certainly don't want to be falling in that water because that would be instant hypothermia. <laughs> It's not so bad when I'm uh, kayaking because I've got my, oh God, my um, dry suit on. You just see my little boat. So I did manage to make it safely into my boat. It really is slippery out there. And um, I've just got into the cabin and that, and it's lovely and warm in here because I've had my electric heater on whilst I was away to just try to keep the dampness out of here and the mould etc that's likely to accumulate so it's really nice and dry in here nice and warm um, so the decision that I've got is do I go for a bimble or not because visibility the Fosdyke navigation once I get out of the marina the Fosdyke navigation is not the widest canal in the world and visibility is quite poor so if there was a bloke, someone, woman on a boat coming towards me at the right rate of knots, because we know how people drive on the roads. <clears throat> Often it's not different when, uh, for boaters. There are those that have no regard for anybody else, as we all know, especially for kayakers. Um, if one if a boat was to come towards me at the right rate of knots, I'm not going to probably see it too late. I'm not going to hear it. Um, if it's got lights on, I might see the lights, but even so, it's, um, 
you know, is it uh, is it worth taking a chance on on the other end? How many people are going to be out on their boats on a morning like this? Um, my other concern is my ropes are frozen solid. Um, it just feels a bit of a ball ache, really, trying to um, try to undo them. So uh, my main concern really is visibility. Um, it's really not that great. So I think what I'm going to do is have a cup of coffee, ponder over the situation. And um, I think I might just run the engine for uh, 10 minutes just to turn, turn it over whilst I drink my coffee. Um, I don't, um, it's not the greatest of mornings, it's freezing cold, um, it really is bitterly cold and um, you know with the visibility the way it is I'm not so sure that I'm really going to gain a lot by going out and uh, having a cruise but uh, let's get a cup of coffee on and uh, make a decision. So, um, why I'm uh, drinking my coffee, I'm just going to have a little rant, get something off my chest, and it's to do with uh, fishermen. I am a fisherman myself, I love my um, river fishing and my lake fishing, and I've fished all my life, and um, it seems that 50% of the time when I go out and have a cruise, I'm getting fishing line wrapped around my prop. Now, 90% of fishermen, when they see a boat coming towards them, they do the natural thing and retrieve their line. But you get the odd few um, that, how can I describe them? Perhaps all, all the gear, no idea, um, that think that a boat is just going to be able to go over their line without um getting it wrapped around a prop and it's mad that you know when it happens to me i seem to get the blame now i've made i mean i've got into the habit of when i see fishermen really to pay attention to make sure that they have seen me and they have retrieved their line most of the time there's no problem at all but the brain dead few that are out there I don't know what goes through their minds. I, I, I really don't. I'll give you an example. Last weekend, I, I just had a cruise into Lincoln. And um, there was a guy fishing. And um, uh, I thought he'd retrieved his line. But he didn't. And it literally got wrapped all around my prop. And he's blaming me because of it. So, and I couldn't get through to him that it's a damn sight easier for him to just retrieve his line and then when I pass, just recast. I know it from time to time, I accept it, it's going to happen. <clears throat> a lot of the time when you're cruising, you don't even see fishermen. They're, they're sort of tucked away behind trees on bends and you just don't, you just don't see them. <clears throat> but this guy, um, he was obviously brain dead, um, you know, I I chopped all his line up, it all went around my prop, managed to get into Lincoln and, and get it off the prop. Like 30 minutes to get it off the prop. And then um, when I got into Lincoln, um, we went and had some lunch, come back to the boat and a narrow boat pulled up beside me. And, and the guy the guy that owns this narrow boat, I kind of know, he was saying about the uh, the idiot angler, he called him. He said, you know, that um, he went berserk because the narrow boat went over his fishing line. I mean, words foul me, really. I mean, it's so simple. You see a boat. I can understand. No, I can't understand, really. But let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He may not see my little Shetland. But how you miss a 60-foot narrow boat, I do not know. So it's quite clear that, uh, you know, um, the blokes um, got a problem upstairs. Um, because he's quite happy to leave his line out and then blame everybody else for it. Now, luckily, it's few and far between. 
but when it does happen it's a right pain in the backside um, there's potentially lots of damage that can be done to your your, your engine your, your outboard I guess my message is if if on, on the small chance that fishermen are watching this video just use some common sense I mean most of you do but the ones that think that a boat can go over fishing line and not there not be a problem rethink because uh it ain't gonna happen and it's a lot easier to retrieve your line let the boat pass and cast back out than it is for you know a boat to stop and go into reverse um so you know just think about it a little bit you know it make life a lot easier and uh the sharing of the river will be far more harmonious that's my that's my rant something that i wanted to get off off my chest um and i feel better for it so uh, on that note cheers oh. right <clears throat> so i've made a decision i'm not gonna um i'm not gonna go for a cruise this morning my mooring lines are frozen solid um and the visibility is just not good enough really so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the boat, uh, turn the engine over for 10 minutes and um, I'm going to go home back in the warm. So um, let's get cracked on.